All right, estimating concrete. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. Help us out. Okay. So you're a foreman of a construction crew, and it's your responsibility to figure the amount of concrete that needs to be ordered, mixed, and poured on the job. And then we're going to have a couple different jobs for us to do. So I'm going to walk us through some examples. First of all, uh, concrete is ordered in cubic yards. Um, so we'll talk about that for a little bit. You're going to find the width, the length, and then the thickness of the slab. So basically, you're going to find what we call the volume of the slab and divide it by 27. Okay, and the 27 comes from cubic feet in a yard. So there's three feet in a yard and three cubed is 27. So that's where that comes from. All right, so looking at this slab down here, really simple, we have 18 times 36, and we have to multiply it by four inches. So notice that this is inches, and these are feet. So we have to convert this into feet. The way we do that is we take four and divide it by 12. Four inches out of 12 inches in a foot is gonna give you 0.33 or one third. One thing I would like you guys to do that's not on this example is I, just, I don't want you to reduce it until the very end, okay? So what I'm gonna have you do is just type in your calculator, hopefully you can see that, four divided by 12 and leave that as is, okay? And then we're gonna find uh, 18 times 36 That's 648. Okay, so we're gonna do, uh, now we're gonna multiply those two. All right, so four divided by 12 times 648. That's gonna be the area or the volume of this particular slab. Okay, so 216 is the area of this particular slab. On the sheet, it says 213.84. That's because they just did 0.33 instead of all those threes up here. All right, and you can see how much of a difference that, that makes. That's why I want you to wait till the very end to round. All right, so once you get this, this is going to be the volume of the slab, but we need to divide by 27 according to our formula to get this in cubic yards. So 216 divided by 27 is going to give us 8 cubic yards. So this particular slab is going to be 8 cubic yards, which you can see this is 7.92. They rounded a little bit short. We would round up for this anyway but eight cubic yards is what we would order for this. And that's just gonna be what you do for all of them. Okay, so I'll give you the first example here. So we have a 20 by 30 foot slab and they wanna do uh, four inches thick. Okay, so the area, 20 by 30, that's gonna be 600. All right, and if you don't believe me, I'll show you in the calculator, 20 times 30. 600 and then it's a four inch thick slab. So we have to multiply this by four over 12 Okay, so four divided by 12 is one third times 600 So the volume is actually going to be 200 And we're gonna divide that by 27 To find our cubic yardage so divided by 27 7.41 yards cubed, okay? So the area was 20 times 30, that's what goes here, that's just the area, and then they wanna find cubic yardage. So to find the cubic yardage, we have to include the thickness, all right? So 600 times four over 12, and then divide it by 27. That's where that would come from. All right, so then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna skip the six inch because you guys could do that. This is just gonna be six divided by 12 or 0.5 times whatever your area is. So that's pretty simple. But we're gonna come down here and actually, um, I don't necessarily agree with this math on this particular worksheet, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it according to this worksheet and then tomorrow we'll go over some things that I think might be wrong on this. Um, so anyway, now we got to figure out how much quick crete or how much bags of concrete we need. So we know that the area is 600 and it's 7.41 cubic yards for this particular slab. So we're going to go to this chart that they gave us on the next page and use this chart to estimate how many bags of concrete we need. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to kind of look at the chart and we'll start with the 60 inch bag or 60 pound bags. So remember that our area was 600 and our uh, yardage, Q, 
cubed was 7.41. So how many bags of quickrete are gonna be needed for the four inch slab using 60 pound bags? So here's 60 pound bags. Two bags gives us four feet. Five bags gives us nine feet and so on. Okay, 14 bags gives us 24 feet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the square footage of the highest one, so 24 square feet equals 14 bags. So we're gonna do 600, because that's our area, divided by 24. And that gives us 25. So we're gonna need 25 units of this, but 24 square feet comes from 14 bags. So if we need 25 of them, 25 times 14 is gonna give you 350. So you need 350 60 pound bags. Okay, just to show you that again, now with 80 or uh, with 80 pound bags. So 80 pound bags, we have the 24 right here. So we're gonna do 600 divided by 24 because that's the highest square footage that they gave us in the chart. That's still 25, but now we're gonna multiply 18 because for the 80 pound bags, you need 18 bags to get to 24 feet. So times 18. 25 times 18. It's gonna be 450. So 450 pound, uh, 450 bags of 80 pounders and 350 pound, or 350 of 60 pound bags. So that's how you would estimate it.